so fine good morning to you all students hi students how are you i hope you all are fine warm greetings to you all students welcome to our today's online class students have you all revised till yesterday's portion so have you all studied till yesterday's portion so now we are studying studying about which chapter chapter 6 specification and abstraction so before we are going to study about today's portions just recall so what are things i have taught at the last class okay so last class we have studied about algorithm design techniques isn't it so in algorithm design techniques we have studied mainly four important things so what are the things you have studied in algorithm design techniques just recall first one is specification then abstraction third one is composition fourth one is decomposition so four things you have studied then you have studied detailed about specification specification and how you need to write or how you need to solve the problems in specification so these are the things we have studied at the last class so algorithm design techniques very very important question so and also you need to know how you need to write the specification problems understand so today we are going to study about specification format okay so first uh, title is specification format okay so last class what i have taught the same thing only today also we are going to study specification format so in specification format how you will write the specification problems okay so three formats you will write how many formats are there there to write specification problem three formats so what are the things so if you study yesterday's portion means you can able to answer this question so how many things you need to know to write the specification problem what are the things you need to write first you need to write the name of the algorithm sorry remember about yesterday's uh, question so what's uh, yesterday's uh, problem what uh, what problem we have studied at the last class yesterday so you are going to find out the quotient and remainder of the particular number are you remembering that one so just recall that example then it is very easy for you to study so what are things you have studied in that example first so three things you need to note it down in specification format first what you need to write name of the algorithm so in that example so if your textbook please take a textbook and note it down the example so if you take your textbooks and see the example last class i have taught no divide of 22 4, 22 or 5, 22 that example okay so first you need to write name of the algorithm and the inputs so what's the name of the algorithm in that example divide divide is the name of the algorithm so how many inputs are there in that example 22 comma 5 so two inputs so first thing you need to write the name of the algorithm as well as the input second thing the property of the input so what property you have studied in that example a should be an integer that's a first property of an integer and also b the value of b need not to be a zero because the number can't be able to divide by zero that's a property of input understand so while you are studying theory please understand the example and study then only you will get understand okay so second format is you need to write the property of the input okay then third thing is desired input and output okay so desired input and output relation so what do you mean by desired input and output relation that example you will write the same thing both the things you are writing in a same what are the things a is an integer then b uh, not equal to that means b is not allowed to zero then one form like a study is isn't it a equal to q plus r plus b isn't it yes that's the input desired input output relation understand so what are the specific important question this one so same thing only they have given again again and again so if you study that first thing means it is very easy for you to study okay so how many formats are there for the specification 
three. What are they? First, name of the algorithm and inputs. Then, property of the input. Then, desired input and output relation. Understood? This is the three formats you should specify in specification. Understand? So, listen, the same thing they have given in the theory. So, what's the first part they are given? First part is the name of the algorithm as well as input. How many inputs you are giving? That means three means three input. Four means four input. Okay. Second part is the which one? Property of the input. So, what's the property of the numbers? Whether the number is a negative number or positive number or you are giving character or etc. Okay. Then, the input and that is third thing is what desired input and output relation. So, always you will write the input and output relation starting with which one? Which is symbol? This double dash. What is that one? Yesterday we have studied about the double dash then. What is that one? Comments. What is the use of comment line? Comments means only for your understanding. That means human understanding only you are giving that comment lines. While you are executing the algorithm or executing the program in the computer, computer won't take that line to execute. That line are only for your human understanding. Okay. So, this input and output relation, that inputs also you need to write with, <coughs> which is line, comment line. Then third one is input and output relation. So that also you need to write with which one? With command line. Understand? So what's the first step? Name of the algorithm you need to write as well as then inputs you need to write in command line as well as output also you need to write in command line. Okay? Then, then what's the important thing means both the input and output you need to write in English language with mathematical notation. Same thing only you are writing, isn't it? A is an integer. That example you are writing, you know, A is an integer. Then B is not allowed to zero. Then you are writing B now greater than or equal to or less than or equal to zero. So same thing you need to write in both English letters as well as in mathematical notation. Understand? So this is the example for the specification. Like this, they will give lot of examples, own examples they will ask and ask you to write the specification formats. So, if you study the specification format, thorough means only you can able to write any examples. Understand? So, read the question. What's the question they are giving? Write the specification of an algorithm for um, computing the square root of a number. So, what you are going to calculate? So, you are going to calculate the square root of a number. Okay, so in specification, what's the first thing you need to write? You need to write the name of the algorithm. Isn't it? So that's the first step. So here they are giving the name of the algorithm is square root. Okay, what's the name of the algorithm? Square root. They are giving the name of the algorithm is square root. Then what's the second step? You need to give the input. Okay, so to square a number. To square a number, how many inputs will be there? For example, 2 square. That means 2 into 2. 3 square means 3 into 3. 4 square means 4 into 4. So, any one number. Isn't it? So, how many variables you need to declare? One variable. Understand? So, for that, they are giving the input variable as n. So, what's the input variable now? n. Understand? Then, next condition you are giving. Next, what do you need to write? Property of the input. So, line by line first. Name of the algorithm that is square root you are giving. Then inputs. So input you are giving the variable n. Then property of the input. So what's the property of the input? The n should not be negative. Okay. What's the property they are giving? Means what number you are giving? Don't give the negative numbers. For example n equal to 2 means 2 square 2 into 2. But you are not allowed to give negative numbers. That means Minus 2. N equal to minus 2 means that is not accessible. Okay. That's the property they have given. What's the property they are giving? N should not be negative. So, that's the property of input. Input property you have given. What's the next step? So, you need to give the output. Okay. So, output you need to declare one variable. Input you are given in which variable? N. Likewise, you need to give one variable for output. 
okay so what variable you are giving in output means y okay for example n equal to 2 square the value of the what is the value 4 that answer will be stored in which variable y okay understand for example in the value of n you are giving 2 means that value 2 square 2 into 2 4 that 4 will be stored in which variable y that variable we are calling as an output variable understand understand so what are the things you have studied here specification algorithm first you need to name the algorithm so for naming the algorithm what name you have given the name of the algorithm is square root then you need to give the input so input what variable you are giving n then you need to give the property of the input so what's the property n should not be negative so negative number is not accessible okay then you need to identify the output so for that output which variable you are giving y variable the result that means the squaring number result will be stored in which variable y okay so now you are this is the algorithmic steps so now we are going to write as a algorithm okay listen first you need to write name of the algorithm so square root then input so what's the input n so like this format only you need to write all the specification algorithm so whatever problems they have asked for in a question paper so you should write like this okay first name of the algorithm then inputs what's the input variable here n then inputs and outputs you need to declare in which line command line so command line starts with double dash so first you need to write the inputs isn't it property of the input so what's the property of the input what property we are giving means n is a real number what do you mean by real numbers so real numbers means in max already you have studied isn't it real numbers whole numbers what do you mean by real numbers so real number starts from 1 1 2 3 4 5 isn't it so likewise one property you are giving means the input variable property of the input is the n is a real number n should be a real number that they are giving n greater than or equal to 0 that means the value starts from 1 not less than 0 understand so name of the algorithm over input you have given that also over then property of the input also you have written okay so next thing you need to write property of the output okay so output also you need to write in which line command line so command line starts with how many dashes Two double dash okay so in output you are writing y is a real number why because input you are giving real number so output also you, are, you will get only real number isn't it so what number you are giving in a input the same thing only you will get as an answer for example you are giving 2 square so what answer you will get 4 so 2 is also a real number 4 is also a real number understand so what output you will get the y is also a real number so that's the property of the output so what they are telling means y square equal to n what's the meaning y square equal to n so you are giving the input variable n equal to 2 so you are squaring your question is you need to say square isn't it square root of a number so 2 square so you need to square the output variable y square equal to n so understand now so what are things you are written name of the algorithm then input variable then inputs you need to write with command line this is the property of the input so what's the property of the input so n is a real number what's the condition you are giving so you have studied now you should write in a english language english uh, sentences as well as in mathematical notations so you are writing in sentence n is a real number as well as same thing you are written in mathematical notations n greater than or equal to zero then output also similar way y is a real number such that you are giving in mathematical notation so y square equal to n y y square you are going to find a square root of a number understand yes so next thing specification as contract okay so uh, normally what's the meaning of contract so you might have been know about this word here about this word contract is what do you mean by contract so normally persons used to say building contracts road contracts isn't it <coughs> So what's the meaning of contract? So they, for example, particular engineer is going to build one big mall, okay, or big house. So particular person 
will give some amount or based on the contract they will give some amount and based on they will give some ideas to like this the you need to build house so all the things will need to take care by the engineer or contractor isn't it so what do you mean by contract now contract means just like a agreement okay within this you need to build like this house or roads or like that okay that's a contract so now here we are going to study about specification contract okay so here so contract means how many persons will be there for example you are giving you are you are going to build one house for that house you are giving a contract so how many persons will be there particular person person who owns the house will give contract to the engineer so the person who owns the house that is called one person then the engineer that's a contract so there's a two persons are there understand so likewise that's a normal thing contract likewise here if you are designing some softwares or designing some systems or designing some hardware things or anything okay so there also two persons will be there okay like a building of uh, like a building house there is a two persons the persons who own the land as well as the engineer likewise the you are going to design some softwares or design some hardware things there is a two persons okay who are the means designer as well the as well as users designer means who who is designing the particular software that person we are calling as a designer who are the users after designing the particular person they will give or launch for the users the users are using the algorithm we are calling as a users okay so this contract will be done between whom and whom designer of the algorithm as well as users of the algorithm understand so for example mobile phones you are now all of them have mobile phones isn't it so particular company will design one mobile phone so after launching the mobile phone you are buying some mobile phone okay so the contract between whom and whom the particular company of the mobile phone and the persons are you who is buying that particular mobile phone that's called the contract between the particular company as well as you understand likewise designing software also or designing algorithm also the contract between two persons between whom and whom the designer of the who is designing the algorithm as well as who is using the algorithm understand then in this contract what are the things need to specify means rights and responsibilities of the designer and the user okay understand rights and responsibilities what are the thing means for example best example i'll say so you are wishing to buy one product from the online okay otherwise i'll leave it that one so you are going to stitch one new cloth okay so for stitching a new cloth the cloth you will give to whom tailor isn't it so listen so you are going to buy one cloth and you are giving uh, that cloth to stitching and to a tailor so how many persons will be there you as well as tailor so the contract will be between whom and whom you as well as tailor okay that's the first point okay then second point rights and responsibilities of the designer and the user listen let's take that example so you are giving the cloth to tailor and you will say what are things you will say these are the measurements this model you need to stitch so you will give some measurements and models then colors this and all things you need to say to whom the tailor that is rights and responsibility of you isn't it so you are you having new cloth you will have new cloth then based on your thing or based on your idea you are saying so i need the this cloth looks like this then measurement this much of measurement i need then this kind of model i need so that that you are the responsibility and rights you have the rights and responsibility to say this are the things to the tailor okay then that's the rights and responsibility of who you you sir who buys the cloth then designer who is a designer now tailor so you are saying all these measurements models everything based on that thing the tailor needs to stitch 
tailor needs to state what measurements you have given what models you are saying what cloth you are giving based on your rights and that what are things requirements that tailor needs to state that's the rights and responsibility of the tailor here the rights and responsibility of designer understand the second point rights and responsibilities okay now understand so you have lot of requirements based on that requirements you are saying you are requirements to a particular person a tailor the tailor will satisfy what are the requirements you are saying that tailor need to satisfy your requirements that's the rights and responsibility of designer and user this is a simplest example here you are studying about designing of algorithm or software likewise the persons will say some based on their requirements they will say some rights and responsibilities to the designer based on that the designer needs to design the algorithm understand now read the uh, next point the input satisfy the required properties is the responsibility of the user the same example input satisfy the required properties that means consider that example what are the requirements you have this kind of measurements this kind of model so that's a property that's a responsibility of you the but all the requirements need to satisfy by whom designer that's the right of the designer so please uh, write with a pencil near to that paragraph in your book then only while you are studying you will get understand otherwise it is very very tough for you to understand okay so only i am saying this example so don't write these things what are the examples i am saying please don't write these things in your exam paper okay so in exam paper what are things they have given in your textbook that only you need to write please don't write this examples what i am explaining okay this and all for your understanding only i explain okay then listen next thing the input output relation is the responsibility of the designer and right of the user read that point once again input output relation same example the same example switching a cloth between you and tailor so input output relation what's the relation between you and the tailor so you are giving the cloth to tailor that's the response what's the responsibility of the tailor needs to stitch the cloth very proper what are the measurements you have given based on that the particular designer or tailor needs to stitch so that's the responsibility of so both of them have the responsibility if you give the measurements correctly based on that the tailor will stitch the cloth correctly so if you give the wrong measurements the tailor will also stitch with the wrong measurement so input output re relation means the responsibility who whose responsibility is be there both of them have responsibilities between user as well as designer understand so next to point right if the user fails to satisfy the property of input so if you are giving the cloth without saying measurement without saying the model simply you are giving the cloth to tailor and you are asking the tailor to stitch according to your wish you can stitch so the tailor will stitch they are according to their measurements they will stitch and give the cloth to you whether you will agree no surely their output will not be a good the cloth will not be a the measurement will be different the model will be different that is not fit for you so the cloth becomes look ugly that's a not satisfying the user now read this point so if you are when if you are giving fail to satisfy the property of input so what are the inputs what are the measurements you are giving if you are saying the wrong thing you are fail to give the particular correct things the designer will also give what input output relation also they will get as a wrong understand so now uh, with that example please they recall that example and study this as specification as contract then only you will get understand otherwise it is very tough for you to study so once again so what's the first point it is a contract between two persons who and whom and whom who is designing the algorithm as well as user so designer as well as users okay so next what's the next point both of them have the rights and responsibilities whom and whom designer as well as the user okay so the property input property needs to satisfy by the designer the out input and output relation means both the having rights to designer who on whom have the uh, rights to have input output relation designer as well as user so if the user fails to give the requirement means you will get the output also and you will not get the desired output understand so one time you read it so once i am explaining 
you will think it is very easy for you to study we can understand so easy to study but while you are studying you will feel tough now you will study so you are studying for annual exam after studying 10th and 11th chapters you are revising this chapter means we feel very very tough to study so only again and again telling please write the examples near to that each heading okay read it now have you all read yes so what are the things i have explained the same thing they have given in a diagram bits okay so listen so this is the user or that the tailor example you take so you are the person here whom the tailor are here in this example we are calling as a designer so the particular user having the rights and responsibility to give what input so likewise if you are going to stitch a new cloth you will have requirements or you are you are having the responsibility to give correct measurements correct designs and you are you are having the particular user will have the rights and responsibility to give the inputs then the designer will have the rights and responsibility to satisfy your requirements that's the see property of input what are the things you are given as a input so based on that the designer needs to satisfy your needs that only they are given in the diagram understand so the same thing already you have studied in square root of a number the same thing they have given in the specification contract problem okay so listen so already you have studied this indeed square root problem so what's a square root uh, specification of algorithm what's the name of that algorithm square root then input variable what's the input n so then you need to input and output you need to go in common lines so what's the input you are giving in is a real number that means the value needs to greater than 0 then output what's the output if n is a real number means output also you will get as a real number so what's the formula for calculating output y square equal to n the central already has studied so listen the same thing they have given in specification contract okay listen so this algorithm particular designer is designing for this algorithm okay so designer what's the responsibility of designer here the designer needs to assign the given number as a non negative first itself we have said the number will not be a negative number so first thing the designer needs to know what's the designer needs to know the given input need not to be a negative number that's the first requirement understand then based on that the designer will construct the algorithm understand what's the first requirement the first requirement is the number need not to be a negative number that is non negative given number is a non negative means positive number then the algorithm the designer are going to construct the algorithm okay then so algorithm the designer will design the algorithm based on this condition with a positive number the particular designer will design the algorithm then the what's the user expectation the output of the given number you need to get the answer isn't it so the user you are expecting the output with the uh, what answer you will get square what number you are giving that number you need the square root that's the expectation of the user so so what output you need to expecting expecting the output of the given number the output will, on, will not be a negative number because first itself you are giving it is a non negative number but so whether you are giving non negative number mean whether you will get the negative number as output if you are giving positive number means so you will get the output also with a positive number okay so if you are giving negative number means what output you will give i am telling so what your condition you are giving so is a non negative number but if you are giving negative number means what output you will get for example minus 2 square what output you will get minus 4 or plus 4 minus 2 into minus 2 plus 4 so non negative that negative number also if you are giving means you will get the positive square root okay so if you are giving negative number means the output need not to be a negative number the output will get as a positive number understand so what are the things you have studied so you are giving the contract uh, you are studying about specification contract to this problem so what are the things you have studied 
first you need to specify the algorithm name with the input then so you are writing this as an algorithm with a command lines what's the thing real number that is need not to be a zero next what output you are getting in a variable y that is the formula to calculate y square equal to n so the particular algorithm designer is what's a requirement uh, or a requirement for the designer the particular number you are giving us a a not pass not negative number that is a non negative positive number that's a requirement then al the designer is going to design the algorithm for the square root okay then so the user expectation is need to get the output for the particular number what's the output square root so if you are giving the positive number you will get the positive number as a output but the output if you are uh, the negative number if you are giving you can't able to expect negative number as a output the because it is a square you will get a positive number as a output understand so up to this specification over okay so next we are going to study about abstraction okay so abstraction is very very easy compared to specification abstraction is very easy okay so before they are entering into this abstraction details they will give one simple problem so a simple example so already you have studied in definition what do you mean by abstraction abstraction means lot of things will be there in a problem but you are not writing all the things so for that only one example i said at the last class in your mathematical exams in a problem will contain lot of details addition subtraction division everything but you are not writing all the things in the main sheet of the answer you will write the addition subtraction division everything as a rough work but important things only you will write in the main sheet of the paper so that is abstraction so you are going to visible or you are going to display only the important things or essential things and hiding the unnecessary things that is called what abstraction understood so for that one simple example first they have given okay for example you are going to ride on bicycle okay so for riding the bicycle what are the things you need to know first you need to know the function of the pedal so what's the use of pedal that thing you need to know then brake so what's the use of brake if you uh, the touch the brake means the particular vehicle will stop so if you are riding a bicycle means if you press the brake means the bicycle will stop then handle bar so how many handles will be there what's the use of handle then bell so these are the basic things you need to know before riding a bicycle isn't it so as a rider as you are going to ride a bicycle you should know this four features but so if you take the bicycle means there are lot of details will be there only whether this four things will be there in bicycle no bicycle will contain wheels bicycle will contain seats then lot of cables then dynamo then a uh, lot of things are there in bicycle but while you are going to ride a bicycle you will not bother about all the things you will not bother about that uh, wheels you will not bother about that um, iron rods you will not bother about other things or wires or cables or anything but you will bother about only this four features okay so why they are given this example means just the thing is so in a bicycle lot of details will be there but while you are going to ride a bicycle so you will know this only this four features this four things only you should know if you are uh, no thorough about this four features means any person can ride the bicycle you will not bother about any other detail that is called abstraction okay so that and all remaining things and all is not important for your riding so while you are learning a ride uh, for a bicycle you are not bother about remaining things only you will know about this four things so this is called one abstraction so only the essential details you are taking and you are learning about the essential details and hiding the remaining things that is called what abstraction okay likewise if you take an algorithm so algorithms are problems the problems will also contain lot of details but you will not take all the details only important things you will note here okay that is called abstraction understand so this is the definition for abstraction now read the definition abstraction is the process of ignoring or hiding irrelevant details that means not much important details important not much important detail that and all you are not going to bother only essential features you need to learn now read it 
is the process of ignoring or hiding irrelevant details and modeling the problem only by its essential features. That is called what? Abstraction. Understand about now abstraction? So, in that uh, same thing they have given in our daily life, life also. Okay, the daily life also they have given this abstraction problems. So, our life also there will be a lot of problems will be there. Okay, all of all the persons. So, all the person's life if you are taking means all the person's life have lot of problems. Without problems any man is there. In the world without problems any man is there. Only God is there, isn't it? So, without problem no one is there in the world. So, each and every humans will have some problem. So, so like abstractions we need to implant, implement abstractions in our life also. What do you mean by abstraction? We need to take only what are the things that are the much important things we need to take in your mind. So, what are things uh, no need to, for example, two or three ladies will uh, talk uh, talk with them, among them, okay. They will always talk about other persons. Whether that is necessary? No. So, only their things they need to see and their things need to take care. That's the important thing. So, in our life also, we will take always the important, most important things we need to take and store in our mind. So, unimportant things, we are not bother about that, then only we can... Improve, improve in our life also. So only they have given in everyday life also. We will have lot of complexity problems. So which is the mental tool for our. For humans which is the mental tool. Brain. Brain is the mental tool. Okay. So brain is a mental tool. That we always need to. Don't give much complex to our brain. So always need to take. That requirements. That important problems are important things. You need to take in your mind. Unimportant things you know. Take inside the mind. Okay, so for that one example they have given, okay, so what example they have given means, so, so for simply we are telling doctors, okay, so doctor, doctor can he give medicine for all the all types of diseases is indeed so next if we enter into the hospital so normally what's the work of a doctor doctor will give medicine for our disease if you enter into the hospital you can see a in board in front of the hospital they will put on board in board heading they will put for separate departments okay for orthopedic they will give one name one doctor name then ENT one doctor name then neurology one doctor name then a heart specialist doctor. Likewise, each and everything they will give separate specialist. Isn't it? So, but medicine is a common thing. The doctor, what's the mean of doctor? Doctor will give medicines for our disease. That's a common thing. But if you are entering into the hospital, you will go, you will go to so if you, whatever disease you have, based on that disease, you need to go to the specialist. Isn't it? There, so that only they are giving. So the uh, medicine, the different specialist will work with different parts of a human body, isn't it? So what's the use of ortho petition? Ortho doctor will see about ortho. That means skeletal system. So gastroenterologist uh, checks with what digestive system. Physiotherapy means it will uh, the particular doctor will give physio. That means muscular system. So so abstraction means here. So, lot of things will be there. Which thing? That means, ortho doctor will be there. Then, ENT doctor is there. Physio doctor is there. Based on your needs, that, that will be lot of details. Lot of doctors are there. Based on your disease, you need to go to the particular section. For example, you will have some problem in skeletal system. Or you will have pain in your bone. So, which doctor you will prefer to see? Ortho doctor. Whether you will go gastroenterologist doctor to see? No. So, based on that, so that's a lot of the doctors are there. That means lot of details are there. But based on your requirements, you are going to see that. Understand that is called abstraction. Okay. So, here in algorithms, how you are going to define means. So, each that state you are defining by variables. Already you have studied state. What do you mean by state? State means immediately you need to recall the example traffic signals. Traffic signal, how many states are there? Three. Green amber and red so that is a state so each things you are representing in three variables maybe a b c or green red or amber then next thing you need to write as a functions 
what do you mean by functions functions means which example you need to recall big paragraph is there you are feeling tough to study that paragraph so you are splitting the paragraph into two or three parts so each part we are calling as a functions understand so in specification problems how you will represent represent the state by variables and algorithms to functions understand so if a algorithmic designer the designer needs to take which are the essential things that essential things are taken by the algorithm or to design the problem unnecessary details no need to take it if unnecessary details also if the algorithm will take means that it will make the problems more complicated okay so and also the problem needs to satisfy input output relation already you have studied the input output relation needs to satisfy okay so unnecessary details we no need to bother only essential details then and the input output relation you need to get okay so so up to this today's portion enough the remaining things that's the next heading so we can start can in the next class please what are things i got taught today specification we have completed today and also abstraction as started please study specification abstraction what are things i got taught today this is a homework the specific algorithm design techniques very very important that you study and write as well as specification the two problems square root of a number okay this is square root of a number as well as subtraction so please study and write today so okay this is a homework for you thank you students remain we can continue in next class thank you